Welcome on in to another edition of Football Frenzy. I'm Carl Jones. That's my main man, AJ Phil. We have reached these sectional semifinals, and in each of our top two classes, every single team remaining more than capable of going all the way and lifting a brick. We start tonight in class AA with two of the biggest rivals and all of Section 5 who have combined to win the last six titles. McQuaid versus Aquinas. Will DeMarco back at quarterback for the Quaid after missing the last two games with injury. We go late first half, Aquinas down three, the freshman, Trent Buttles, with a big boy throw over to Alexis Rosado for the Tutty. Little Irish led 14-10 at the break. We go to the second, and it was a John Harding show. The senior punches it in on a little short touchdown run to put the Knights on top. Fourth quarter now. It's crunch time, so who does Will DeMarco trust the most? John Harding sprints in for his third touchdown of the night. And AJ, would you believe me if I told you Harding wasn't done? I would. Of course you would, AJ. Mr. Harding puts this game on ice with his fourth trip to the end zone. McQuaid, they come back in the second half and take down the rivals 35 to 14. In the other semifinal, Hilton and Uprep, Cadet star running back Robert Lowry battling through injury. End of the first half. Hilton looking to move in front. Lowry corkscrews his way across the line. Cadets up 14-8 at the half. But we go to the third quarter. Tavion Bird heaving it up for Javon Johnson. And watch this catch. Ooh-wee, I love to see that. Straight Boston is defender. PAT good. Griffins take the lead. After Hilton punt, you prep back at work. C.J. Robinson breaking tackles, tiptoe in the sidelines. And for the score, that made it 22-14. So still a one-score game. Cadets driving in the red zone, looking to tie things up, but the pass tips right to Jules Russell. Griffins win 22-14. They will get McQuaid in the title game. Down in Class A, East hosting the newly named Candidate Wolf, Ray Wolves. Just got announced earlier today. My kicks of the night goes to Coach Steve Flagler. Looking fresh in the yellow jays, my man. Gray Wolves down seven in the first, but not for long. Trey Camilla. Punches it in to tie the game up at seven. Then we go to the second. Zymir Jackson rolling out to his right. He's going to throw a beauty up to Urban Wiggins for six. And the senior wasn't finished because on the very next possession, Wiggins says we're grounding all flights his way. Picks it off. Hey, Dino Babers, we got some ballers here in the 5 5 Come holla at Mr. Wiggins. And then right before half, Jackson. You know what? He said, I can scoot too. Finishes with the physical run for the score. Woo! Love to see that right there. East, they get the dub 30 to 14. That's a big win for them. Canadigua has had their number, but not tonight. They would get either Brighton or fellow unbeaten Victor, but it was the Bruins up early, 21 7 at the half. Gavin Parks, one of his two tutties on the day, 188 yards to go along with it. So the Blue Devils down 28 7, looking for answers, but all they would find is Kieran Hughes roaming the middle of the field for the interception. We go to the fourth, the Bruins putting the finishing touches on their upset. Jaden Lean, the score and your hair of the night, a new segment. Brighton gets the win 35-13. They will get East in the Class A championship game. That's some great hair, I'm not going to lie. Good matchup in the Class B semis. Batavia on the road at HFL. Scoreless in the first. Salem Griffin standing at 5'5", 135 pounds. It doesn't matter. Finds his way to the pay dirt to give Batavia the early lead. Then on the other end, HFL head coach John Rush said it's time to let Ben Cook, the senior, cruises the zone six. Nice little finish at the end right there. Then we go to the second quarter. Matt Meacham playing a little pitch and catch with Landon Hamming. Just how they drew it up. HFL goes up 13-6. This one went down all the way to the wire. Connor Finn ran in the game winner for HFL with three minutes to play. Cougars got, Cougars got the dub 26-20. They'll face either Wayne or Monroe. In the title game. And we wrap things up in the eight-man championship. Penbrook taking on Bolivar Richburg, scoreless in the first. Tyson Totten, Mr. Eight-Man Football. He had 46 touchdowns on the year entering the game. Let's add another with the filthy cutback. Dragons up by seven, but the Wolverines didn't lay down. Taven McDonald lowers his shoulder in for six. Bolivar Richburg led 16-7 after the first. But here come the undefeated Dragons. Caleb Felski breaks a tackle. The exclamation point inside the five. Dragons punch it in a few plays later. Then deep in their own territory, where it really doesn't matter. It just means a longer touchdown 
for Tyson Totten. 94 yards to the house. Pembroke runs away with this one. 70 to 30, your final score. They win their second straight sectional title. Coming up after the break, could the Sabres and Emmerichs both pick up wins tonight? We'll have the highlights next. And the top swimmers hit the pool. But first, here's some more Section 5 scores. Coming up next week on Football Frenzy, we've reached the end of the road, the sectional finals, where we'll have a double doses of so shows as our champions are crowned. On Friday, it's the Class A and D championships in the eight-man regionals. On Saturday, Double A, B and C, we will be deciding championships in a thrilling weekend of football action. I can't wait. We'll be right there with our bow ties on. However. Fear not, the championship action continues tomorrow as girls and boys volleyball are decided out on the court, plus regional action for field hockey and soccer. Can't wait to join you. For Carl Jones, I'm AJ Fellman. Have a great rest of your night, and we will see you next time.